absolutely. Coming off the NC State game, you guys had a great game on defense. That was the loss, even the yeah. field. Confidence level for you guys on defense. How is it heading into a game against Pitt? Uh, every week we always talk about trying to get better, and so I think we took a step in doing that. Uh, it's always good to to try to stop them rushing and stuff like that. We got to eliminate a lot of the passing yards, but um, we have some confidence. Young guys have to step up. We have injuries, so it's uh, every other team in the ACC or in the con uh, country. So um, we got confidence. We just trying to build a, build on top of that. Looking at Pitt, what are some of the challenges that you see on the tape? Uh, they, they are very explosive in the run game, so we have to get TFLs again to try to stop these backs. They have two good, big, powerful backs. We have to get down on the ground. So the most challenging thing is stopping the rushing uh, offense. For you guys, are you a little bit more comfortable because you get to go up against backs like the Kemp Colburn and Cade almost every day? Yeah, I'm always, uh, I like the challenge. Uh, I'm just embracing it, knowing that they're a, two, a good duo that Pitt has. Uh, we got two good backs, Matt and Kay, and so I'm up for the challenge. And I think the rest of the defense is too. Well, you're one of the, the seniors here. How does it feel to be a part of a class that sort of put Wake Forest, you know, elevated their status back you know, among some of the best in the ACC? Uh, it feels pretty good. I feel like uh, we're never really there. Uh, we always got to continue to work, and it showed a little bit at the beginning of the season uh, when we think we're there and we get punched in the mouth. But uh, it feels good to be that, that starting class, to know that after I leave, we kind of started something that hopefully to put Wake Forest on the map or something like that. But uh, it feels pretty good.